today at the sawmill. We are gonna do a review on this fella right here. That fella right there, that is a flit saver and it is made by, I don't know, flit saver? I think it's flit saver. Anyway, that's how you found it, flit saver. And uh, if you got a sawmill and you are cutting any kind of hardwood, um, well, any kind of hardwood, except for maybe live oak. I would have had trouble getting them in live oaks, which is, if you don't know what live oak is, that's in the, in the south we got them, like that right there. They're a white oak, but the grain goes everywhere. I got one in that one, but uh, they're kind of hard to put in there. Anyway, if you're looking to get, stop the splitting, which uh, I'll show you all on this one right here. This one right here got anchor seal on it right here. If you see, anchor seal. And I still had to put them in there, them flit savers, keep them from splitting anymore. And uh, this one's like 36 inches. If you, yeah, that, that's like, that's like a 16 inch hammer, maybe a 14 inch hammer. So yeah, that's a big log. Any big log like that, definitely down here in the south, with the heat, you're gonna have it split. Any hooser. Let me show you how this thing works. And one that one that I got going, an example. Like on this one right here, this crack was a quarter inch. And I put them three flit savers. Yeah, some of them don't go in all right, but they're cheaper than the metal ones, and you can saw right through them. And as you see that crack, it actually pulled that crack together and got it to stop running down the slab right here, which is a little cracked up from the sun. But anywho, that's it. That's the flit saver. Um, I think the hammer was, I don't know, around a hundred bucks and it's like 300 bucks for a thousand or maybe 200 bucks for a thousand of these little flit savers, but you can saw through them. So hope that helps someone.